Hi, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I just want to show you another benefit. Yes, that's right. Yet another benefit of this cool cloud iron, and it is not your typical iron, okay? Stick around and see what's in store. Okay, so you guessed it. I'm sitting here right now on some vinyl plank flooring. It is installed over your traditional foam pad, and what we're going to be doing is a vinyl repair, uh, vinyl plank repair, and yes, that's right, we are going to use the cool glide seam iron on it, okay? Uh, I can definitely agree with a lot of viewers out there. If this was strictly just for seaming carpet, I don't know that I can justify it. Uh, the cost of the seam tape is higher than your traditional seam tape for your uh, carpet seam iron, and the iron itself is probably double or more than double than your traditional seam iron, okay? So if it was strictly for carpet, I wouldn't buy it either, okay? But there's so many reasons you can use this. We're gonna show you a few. So, uh, right here, we are using vinyl plank right here. Again, right over the pad. This is a, a floating vinyl plank floor. And uh, we're gonna say that we have a bad board right in the middle of the floor. So I don't want to take this whole room of vinyl plank up just to get to this board right here, okay? For the sake of time, I've already got it prepared and stuff and ready to take out of the floor and show you how we're gonna fix it up with the cool glide iron, okay? Okay, so what we got here on the floor is a traditional vinyl plank flooring. This has absolutely no pad on the back. That's why we have it installed over our own uh, pad here because this does not come with the pad on the back and we're going to see just how it will work How it will stick to this vinyl plank with no pad on it I also have a few samples with the rubber pad already in here uh, Stuck to the back of it to see how it sticks with that type of vinyl plank And I also have it done with Cortec to see how it sticks with the cork on the back of vinyl plank Okay, but right now we're going to get into this repair. Okay Okay, so right here we have a bad board on the floor, okay? Again, I do have it already all prepped, ready to take out and everything like that because for the sake of time, we're not really doing a vinyl plank repair. We're focusing on uh, the cool glide iron at this time, okay? So right now, I've got, like I said, I've got this ready. I wanna go ahead and pull this plank out. And I'll, there we go. So I can just lift this out of there. I've got my edges cut off so that it will go right in and out of the floor like that because we that's how you do a vinyl plank repair and I will get to that on another video but right now uh, again we're focusing on the cool glide iron okay however this is a drop lock system so I did not have to deal with one end of this vinyl plank I only had to address two sides of this in order to get this repair done the way we just pulled it out there okay Okay, so once again, if you're not familiar with that, I'll show you just how these will pull in and out of there if you do these vinyl planks properly. So check this out. You can, it will actually open up just like a book, okay? I mean, it'll go so fine, you literally have to take your razor blade and stick it there to get it out, okay? So here it comes, watch this. Okay, so that's how we do it. And you stick this back down in there, you're not even gonna know that this vinyl plank was ever even touched, okay? And we're going to stick this back down so with the cool glide iron because this is a floating floor we cannot take this plank and just glue it down on this pad right here or even remove the pad and glue it down to the floor because it's not going to be right okay we have to do this floating just like it came originally okay we can't do a repair where it's going to be stuck to the floor or anything like that so Okay, so this is your traditional carpet seam tape. Um, however, Cool Glide does make eight different types of tape for this product, for this uh, tool, because it is such a diverse tool, okay? It's not just all about carpet. They have, um, they have tape made for vinyl plank, they have tape made for hardwood, they have utility tape, they have, like I said, eight different tapes, if I'm not mistaken. However, I did not have a chance to get some of the tape specifically for this, it is uh, the tape for the vinyl plank comes with a little bit less glue, so it's not going to raise this up a little bit whenever you stick it underneath there. Again, this is just a carpet tape though, so uh, if there is a little bit of lip at the end of this, that's why okay? it has quite a bit of glue on it because it's made for carpet. Anyway, let's get on to it. Enough about that. So what I want to do first, I want to go ahead and stick my end piece of tape in here first. I'm going to go. Uh, just a little bit longer on both sides of this. I'm going to 
tuck it under there just like I would if I was making a carpet seam. I want to get everything centered underneath of this. And now that I've got that there, I'm going to get a piece of tape cut uh, lengthways of the plank as well all the way to my other piece of tape there. Now, once again, we only need to do two sides of this because I only messed with two sides of it to get this in here. This side is still gonna lock in and this end of the plank down here is a drop lock. So it's still gonna lock in, okay? So we only need to secure the two ends, the two sides of the plank that has nothing to uh, clamp in or lock in to the adjoining planks, okay? All right, I'll get you a little bit closer right here so you can see exactly what this looks like before I stick my plank in there. Okay, so if you will notice the red line right here that falls in the center of the tape, I have this lined up right here and I have it centered all the way down the long end of the tape of the board right there, okay? And you can see I stopped about uh, a quarter inch, maybe a half inch from that right there and also right over here. I actually stopped just before the other tape so that the tape is not overlapped. Okay, now that's it. You guessed it. We are fixing to put this plank right back in where it goes and uh, go to town working on it. So I have my lip right here. I'm just going to snap it right back underneath there where it belongs. Get this laying all back in position just as it goes. Okay, there we go. Everything is nice and smooth. You hear that? Here comes the drop lock. Listen. There we go. Just a little snap right back in place there, okay? So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to go ahead and place my iron right here on this and get it nice. Get this end to join and then I will go ahead and do this joint in the board just like it was a carpet seam, okay? Once again, as I said in the uh, previous video, this iron only heats up between this arrow and this arrow, okay? And uh, because this is going through something thin, I am going to run this iron on low, okay? I'm not going to use it on high. I want to make sure that I am centered of the joint in the board. That way, the iron is centered over the tape and the full width of the tape gets melted because we want full strength on this, okay? Here I go, boom, pushing the power button. And as I talked about in the previous video about marking the sides of the iron there that's already good so i got this far right here so that's where i want to start my next one at so i'm going to mark that arrow right there with my pen obviously i'm not going to mark that like i did on uh the carpet so i'm going to mark it out right there with my ink pen i'm going to set my ink pen right dead on that arrow now i'm going to take my pen and move it up to that arrow right there okay that's going to give me something to where I can move my next arrow up, okay? Now here we go. Let's go ahead and push the power button and go for it. Okay, boom. That's really fast whenever you're working with on a low setting. And again, you don't have to go fast with this thing. This, that's the beauty of this tool. You can just go as slow as you need to go, okay? By no means is there any pressure to move fast with this tool. It only goes as fast as you want to, okay? Scoot it up, push the power button. Scoot it up, push the power button. Now behind here where this glue is melted on here underneath, I am just taking my hands and making sure that it gets a good adhesion, just mashing it down in the glue, okay? After it's heated up. Turn the power button on, go ahead and scoot up my marker, okay? That is super simple to do with this tool. So I've got you just a little bit closer there so you can see that a little better. Again, I'm just making sure that my iron stays centered in it this way and moving it up one iron's length at a time according to these arrows. As soon as I get it set where I want it, I just push the power button and let it do its thing right here. Super fast. Again, if there is no tape under this, this iron will not work. Okay. 
Boom, that's it right there. That's all she wrote. So keep an eye right here. This plank right here is the one that we just put in there, okay? I'm gonna zoom down the whole plank right there. Let you see exactly how it looks. Keep an eye on that one plank. A person would never even know that that plank was ever messed with, okay? Okay, so we just did everything that we need to do to this final plank repair. This plank is all put in there. It's adjoined to these other planks around it, just like it was always there. No, no damage to the other planks. This is a floating floor, and the beauty of it is, it is still a floating floor. You see that? So it's still gonna move freely on the pad. It's not gonna do, uh, it's not going to fasten your vinyl plank to the subfloor, to the pad, or anything like that, okay? You might say, oh, well, that's all good and everything, okay? So, let's check it out and just see how good that sticks, okay? Remember, I've got three different samples of vinyl plank, and we're going to test out to see just how good it sticks. Okay, so what we've got right here, this is actual, actually the product that we put down ourselves, okay? That we're working with right here. It has the backing like that. And I did get a little warm on this. This was the first one that I did like this and I had it on medium. I should have had this on a low setting, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and see how it did. What I did, I took the lip off of this. Let me get this scrap piece here. So, what I did, I just took one board, cut it in half, and I shaved off this lip right here on the back side of it what snaps in this lip right here, okay? So there is nothing at all holding this in place. The only thing holding these two boards together is the cool glide tape itself. And after I get it tore apart, I will show you that there is nothing else on, on any of these samples. There's no clicking mechanism or nothing. The only thing holding these together is simply the cool glide tape. And looky here, looky here, see that? It is nice and flat, even though it is with the carpet tape, it is nice and flat. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna, let's see here, I wanna make sure you can see this really good. Let's see here. Okay, hold on, that's a little rougher than I thought. Okay, right there, boom. That took a little bit of strength to get that apart. Okay, so as you can see, the lip that should lock in right there is not on there, okay? I'll have to do, oh my goodness, that was awesome. I wanna show you something right here. I want to show just how good that held. If you look right here in the seam of this, I hope that shows up real good. It actually, so right here on the edge, let me do this first. Right here on the edge of this piece right here, there should be a little lip that snaps in to this tongue piece over here. That's what I cut off. So there was nothing at all holding this except for the tape. And looky here, the tape stuck so well that it actually broke the lip off of the other piece right there as I bent it back, okay? So this bond that the tape has is stronger than the actual join in the vinyl plank itself, okay? So I don't think you're ever gonna have to worry about that stuff giving way, okay? If you look all the way down through there, look at that right there. It just simply broke the tongue backwards. It stuck so good, okay? So, and again, this is the, look, look at that. It actually closed right back up, just like our book. Closed up beautifully again. Beautiful, okay? I don't know what a person would have to do. I'm gonna take and try this right here. I'm gonna try to tear this apart right here. Oh my goodness. Let me bow up on this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Absolutely, and I mean absolutely no fear of this this stuff not holding, okay? That, wow, that really surprised me. <laughs> that was insane. Look at this right here. So there is the part right there of the vinyl plank that actually stuck to the tape itself all down the edge of that right there. Like I said, it stuck to it and broke it off. It was so stuck. Look here. Little pieces of the vinyl plank stuck in the tape right there. It literally tore pieces off the vinyl plank getting that apart. This is some really good glue, okay? No, no fear whatsoever in this ever 
failing. Let me show you the vinyl plank I tore off of there. Look right here. There is a chunk of it missing right there where it just pulled it straight out of the center of the board. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a chunk missing right there. And uh, all this edge right here has been tore off. All right up through here has been tore out. Uh, let's see here. Okay, there's more chunks right here missing. There's some missing right here. There's a chunk missing right here. This stuff absolutely held, okay? All this right here has been tore out. It literally tore the vinyl plank apart. Okay, that was a uh, vinyl plank with no pad whatsoever, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, uh, we have some now with the rubber back on it, okay? A lot of Shaw product has this on the back of it. It makes it nice and quiet. Hear that? Makes it nice and quiet to walk on and you don't have to install pad underneath of it like we did in the demonstration right here. However, you still cannot have this stuck to the floor, okay? This is a floating floor. Even though it has the pad on it, you still do not want your vinyl plank stuck to the floor if you do a repair, okay? Okay, looky here. Once again, this is put together the exact same way these other ones are. There is nothing here holding this on. So this lip right here, this lip right here on the edge that locks in, I tore off and joined these two together just like I did the other one, okay? Now let's go ahead and break this one apart and see, see how it does, okay? Okay, wow, okay. Um, at least this one did not break the tongue, okay? Let's get a good look at it right there. So as you can see right here, this is all, at least it's still held together. It didn't break the tongue off on this one. And let's see about holding together. I'm, I'm curious if the pad, now look here, you can see on this one here, I did not, I learned my lesson. That one was the first one I did, this one, and then the um, Cortec with the cork on the back of it. So this one right here did not get burnt at all. I used the iron on low on this one. So let's see just how damaging it is to remove the tape. Is the tape gonna come off or is the pad gonna come off the back? Let's just find out right there, okay? Uh, if I can even do this. There we go. So look at this, I'll show you the tape first. So look at that, that really, really, really held. So on a lot of it, it pulled the tape, it pulled the pad right off the back of the vinyl plank and some of it stayed, not very much at all, okay? Now let's take a look at the board itself. So this is the board that come off of a whole bunch Again, a whole bunch of the pad came off and this stuff is stuck on there really good. You can see the little, little bitty specks right there where it tried to hang on with all of its might, but it just didn't do it, okay? That was really, really, really stuck. Definitely, once again, no fear of that stuff ever letting go. The Cool Glide tape is a really, really good tape. Let's check this out. Okay. Okay then I was able to do a straight pull down motion on that. It was a little bit easier than just trying to separate two boards like I did, but you can still see it pulled some off here all the way down. It's just stuck super good. It looks like it pulled the layer off of it right there anyway, okay? And it did pull some off right here on the edge as well. Even just with that right there where I could pull straight down, it still held really good, okay? Now let's check out uh, this Cortec pro uh, product right here, again, really nice and smooth, no lippage on this whatsoever. And here we go with the cork. I wonder, uh, let's go ahead and bend this one back just as we did the other couple, okay? Well, that one actually bent back easier than any of them, okay? It did not break anything. Let's get a good look at this. So it did not break anything. You can see right there, that is the folded back piece. Never broke anything in there. Now, I guess the test is gonna be is how good does Cortec stick the cork on the back of the product? Because I'm sure it's gonna be stuck super, super good to this cork since it is an absorbent product. Let's check it out right here. 
Okay, wow, that actually came off easier than any of it. And you can see what happened there. It did pull the cork off of the backing here, all the way down this side and all the way up this side here. In the center, it stayed. However, that still was not no walk in the park pulling that off, okay? That stuck incredibly well on all of these. So you can see over here on this side where it pulled it off and pulled it off right there on that side of the tape. Okay, and down here it got most of it and over here it got the most of it. Let's check this out just in itself here. Okay, there we go. It was literally separating the tape right there. Let's do it. No, no joke. Pulling that off. Let's look at the tape. So, as you can see, it separated the tape right there, but it left every bit of this adhesion, every bit of the glue and nylon was still stuck on the board and it's pulled the paper off is what it did. Let's check out this now. So this is the second piece right here. And again, it pulled cork off the inside right here and off the back side of the tape over here. Okay, so. I don't know about you because you couldn't, you obviously could not grab a hold of that and feel it or anything like that. I hope that was enough of example. I hope it was clear enough that it was a struggle to pull these boards apart with the cool glide tape, whether it was just the regular backing with no pad or if it was the rubber back uh, vinyl plank or if it was the cork back vinyl plank. It stuck great to all three products. It didn't matter what it had on the back of it, okay? And again, just another example right there of how awesome that the Cool Glide is, okay? It is by all means worth every penny that they charge for this. Like I said, if it was just a carpet iron, by all means it's too pricey, okay? You can use this thing for so much more and this is not the last video. We're going to be doing more showing you everything that you can do with this iron, okay? Once again, I want to let you guys know I'm not, uh, I am not paid by Cool Glide. I don't get a paycheck from them. I'm not about uh, getting a percentage. I'm not getting commission, anything like that off of anything. I'm not a salesman. I'm not trying to sell this to you. I am simply showing you the benefits of it and the problems with it, which the problems are very, very minor. And there is so many benefits, okay? This channel is all about helping you guys out, making your life, making your job easier on a daily basis, okay? So that's why I do these videos like this, just letting you guys see uh, what all this tool is capable of, okay? There's so many people out there that's like, yeah, I was that way myself. It's too much money. It's from what I've seen on the job sites, it burns everything up. It's not no count. I wouldn't have it. I would not spend $500 on that. I would not spend $25 for a roll of the tape. However, if you only use this when it is necessary, when it's needed, it is by all means worth the money. You're not going to be using it on every single scene. By all means, use your traditional iron on it, okay? Don't go uh, using that $25 tape on your rental properties and stuff like that. There's no sense in that. Only break this thing out when you need it. And I promise the more you use it, the more you'll want to use it and the more you'll find that it is good to have around, okay? Again, just another demonstration of vinyl plank repair with a seam iron. What about that? That's a little crazy, huh? It also does more than that. It is also used on hardwood and other instances, which we are going to be getting into here in the near future. So be sure to check out all of these videos coming out on the Cool Glide system just to see what all you can do with it. Again, I'm not paid by Cool Glide. This is simply to benefit the installers and to make your job easier, once again, on a daily basis, okay? I, I'm not no salesman. I don't even try to be a salesman. I just want to show you guys. A lot of guys are like, well, I wish I could see it used for this or I wish I could see something else used. That's what I'm here for, okay? I want to let you guys see what these tools can do, what they're capable of, are they even worth the money, this and that, okay? I'm not trying to push them on you. I'm just trying to show you the benefits of them, okay? Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, FBSB is out.